Hey man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. Won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of Brother, do you, do you read the Bible? I read the Holy Bible, King James Version. Brother, what do you think this is, bro? I don't read your Bible. Brother, this is King James Bible. This is King James Bible. Brother, the thing is, you never read the Bible, brother. That's why the scriptures that we're bringing out, you don't understand them, brother. Give me Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 13. This is the King James Bible. You're not doing nothing that's in the Bible. Brother, not only are we going to open it up, we're going to actually do the things that's in it, brother. That's the whole point. Now, are you going to do the things that's in here? See, you talk a good game, but our people love to run their mouth, but you don't want to do nothing that the Bible says. Right. Give me Matthew 15 and 7. Give me Matthew chapter 15, verse 7. You give me Nehemiah 6 and 13. Read this right quick, God. The book of Matthew, chapter 15. Verse 7, break it out. Ye hypocrite! Ye what? Ye hypocrite! You are being a hypocrite. Read on up. Well, then he said, he said, prophesies of you. Because guess, guess what? Our forefather Isaiah prophesied of these type of spirits coming back on the earth. Read on. Said, these people cry not unto me with their mouth. Because you want to draw now to the most high God with your mouth, brother. Read on. And honoring me. With that lip. Hold up, brother. Don't run when the scriptures is coming out. Don't run, brother. Give me Proverbs 28 and 1. Give me Proverbs 28 and 1, brother. This word is for you, too. Don't run, because guess what? We know you're not of God, because he that is of God, hear it God's words, man. That's right. The Spirit reveal all that. Read this up. It's a book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 1. Hold up. Yeah. And this is the power of the most high God, man. All we gotta do is bring out scriptures and see they but run with a dog between his tail, man. That's right, brother. That's it every single time. Read, huh? Verse one. The wicked flee. The what? The wicked flee. The what? The wicked flee. Read, huh? With no man pursuing. But the righteous. But the what? But the righteous. The ones that's keeping the commandments according to Deuteronomy 6 and 25. Read on. Are bold as a lion. Are what? Are bold as a lion. Guess what, man? You're not chasing us off with the police. You're not chasing us off with wicked Negroes, wicked sisters, or wicked badass kids, man. We don't do thus said the Lord, man. Give me Nehemiah 6 and 13. What you got? What's your nationality? So called Mexican American? Mexicano? Here. <laughs> but you're not just here. Guess what? You actually come from a tribe, man. I'm pretty sure you. Right in front of the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Zebulon, man. We are here trying to bid you to the marriage. Because guess what? In Catholicism, they teach you that you're a Gentile. They teach you Mother Mary. But guess what? You won't find none of those things in the Bible. Right. This heritage, this history, the kingdom pertain to you, brother. And we're trying to bid you to the marriage. Read this, huh? It's the book of Nehemiah, chapter 6, and verse 13. Right Therefore, was he hiding? That I should be afraid. Read that again, huh? Therefore, was he hired that I should be afraid? Because guess what? His spirit's out of here. They're thinking they're going to cause us to be fearful in this truth. We understand that from the history that our forefathers gave us. We don't, huh? Right. And do I'll so. Listen, and sin. But the Bible commands us that guess what? Being fearful and having fear, that is sin, man. No, we shouldn't man. fear no man but the Most High God, man. Yes, right. We don't fear the people that kill the body, man. We kill the one that kill body and your spirit, man. That's right. Brother, you believe in the Bible, brother? Come deal with us, brother. We out here for you, man. Read that again, out from the top. Verse 13, from the top. Book of uh -huh. Nehemiah, chapter 6, verse 13. Break it out. Therefore, was he hired that I should be afraid uh -huh. and do so and sin. We don't not. And that they might have better for an evil report. And guess what? They thinking they gonna run the prophets off the block to have an evil report against us. We ain't running no damn word, man. Right. We gonna be out here teaching the truth till Christ cracked that sky, man. Right. Right. That they 
might reproach me. That they might what? That they might reproach me. Because a lot of times they thinking that guess what? We're gonna be reproached, man. But guess what? We're gonna do the wills of the Father, man. That's Give me Acts chapter 5, verse 29, right quick. Break it up! We're gonna do thus saith the Lord out here, man. That's why you don't see brothers running, man. We're gonna stand bold whether they hear or whether they forbear, man. Right. Gotcha. Read this up. The book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Verse what? Verse 29. Bring it out, huh? Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We are to obey God. We are to obey who? We are to obey God. God. Read, huh? Brother, so guess what? We're going to obey what the scriptures say, brothers and men, man. Y'all not running the prophets off the block, man. Y'all thinking we not them same brothers that was in the hood that y'all come from? Right. Hell, we probably did worse some stuff than y'all did, man. Right. Come on, man. But yo, we don't have no fear whatsoever in us up here, man. That's right. And ain't going to run at yeah. all, man. Give me Ezekiel 3 and 7. Read this. Uh, it's a book of Psalms, chapter 34 and verse 7. Bring it out. The angel of the Lord it encampment round about them that fear him. Read that again, huh? The angel of the Lord it encampment round about them that fear him. Because they don't understand we dealing in the spirit up here, man. Yeah, right. We got a whole host of angels that's waiting to throw down for us, man. That's right. Because we out here keeping the commandments, man. Right. Brothers can't see that thing in the spirit, man. That's why one none of these brothers shook up here, man. That's right. You think it ain't run up on the prophets on Nehemiah? You think it ain't trying to run up on Christ, man? That's right. You think it ain't run up on Isaiah, man? That's right. Guess what, man? We don't give a damn about that. That's Guess right. what? We gonna be back out here next Sabbath and the Sabbath after that, man. Delivered them. And did what? And delivered them. Give me uh Second Kings chapter six verse sixteen. Read this up. The book of Ezekiel, chapter three verse seven. Bring it out. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. So the Most High God always gave us the prophecy that guess what? He know we're a bunch of hard headed rebellious people, man, right. that do not want to listen to the word. He already gave us the prophecy. Read on up. But they will not hearken unto me. Read up. But for, for all the house. Of Israel are imputed and hard hearted. All the house of Israel are impudent and hard headed, man. Right. We know we're dealing with some baby age kids out here, man. That's why we got the belt out here, which is the Bible, man. That's, That's right. right. Read on up. Right. Behold, I have made thy face strong against thy brother. Face. This, out, this is for you, brother. You can't say that you're good, brother. Look at the conditions of our people, man. We can't say that we like the conditions of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. We're on the bottom of society, man, and brothers thinking it's all good. Why do you think the most I got sent the puppets out here, man? To raise y'all up. To show y'all that guess what? We more than just niggas. We more than just spicks. Right. We the people of the most high God, man. That's That's right. Right. We the Israelites, man. That's That's right. Right. We don't know. Behold, I have made thy faith strong. Against their face, read the kid, huh? Behold, Behold I, I have made, made their face strong, strong against, against their, their face. face. So the most high God made our face strong against our people's faces, That's man. Right. Brother, want to mean mug, brother, we can mean mug back, man. That's right. Right. We don't give a right. damn, man. Right. We're right. gonna do dust that the Lord, read, right. 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 And that forehead, right. strong right. against their forehead. So you want to lock four hands, man? We can do that thing all day, man. Right. 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 We don't give a damn about that, man. We're going to read, thus said the Lord, That's and rebuke right. you at the gate, man. That's right. That's right. Give me Amos chapter 5, verse 10. Read this, huh? It's the book of 2 Kings, chapter 6, and verse 16. Read it, read it Bring it out. Out. And he answered, Fear not. Do what? Fear, fear not. not. Do what? Fear, fear not. not. Guess what? We don't have no fear out here, man. Right. Read it up. For they that be with us. They that be with us, meaning the most high God, Christ, and the angels. Read up. Or more, more than they that be with them. That be with who? That be with them. So guess what, man? We got a whole host of armies out here, man. That's right. We got more that be for us than the more that be for them, man. That's right. Our people need to wake the hell up, man. We're trying to get our people back to that kingdom status. So, so we the battle lashes on the most high. That's right. right. We are here to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that we God's chosen people. We trying to teach you your real nationality according to the Israelites, according to the Bible. Why y'all had no women? Sister, because guess what? We're in spiritual war right now, sis. Sisters are at home, God in the house, and watching over the children, sis. This is spiritual war out here, sis. So we can't have our sisters out here in this type of environment. Do not, our own people want to hate us. What do you think they'll try to do for with the sisters? I always trying to come at the weaker vessel. No, you're going to come at the stronger vessel. That's right. That's right. So guess what? 
the Bible tells us to do things decency and in order, sis. So this is not the time for that. Now, sometimes we do have the sisters come out to show sisters how to uh, 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 be in order according to the scriptures, sis. Right. The Bible is all about order, sis. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 4. So, yes, most of these brothers up here are married. Which sisters that are in order according to the Bible? I, Church. Our church is called Battle Axes of the Most High, sis. Is that yes, we got a flyer, sis. Here you go. We want to teach you who you are. What's your father, sis? So called African American. My dad, my yes. real dad. Oh, real dad. Yeah, he's, he's Cuban, like Cuban and Blake. Blake. Okay, Blake. what is your father? Is he Cuban? No, not your spiritual father. Okay, then you will be from the tribe of Judah or you will be from the tribe of Manasseh. This is your real biblical nationality according to the Bible. This is what they're not teaching our people in churches. You got a million churches in the neighborhood, but things is worse than ever in the neighborhood, sis. Why is that? Because they're not teaching thus saith the Lord God. They're not teaching our people who we are and how to get out of these conditions that we are in. That we got to keep the commandments to receive the kingdom, sis. Now, are you active in the church, sis? Do you go to I'm church? I'm not, but I gotta go to. Hold on, hold on. She drew my attention when you got when you was talking about the main book. I was like, I like y'all, so. Thank you, because guess what? That's our heritage, sis. Yeah. We know how our people love to give mean mugs. The most high God said, guess what? Mean mugs, they bust back, sis. Yeah, right. But we're trying to get people to wake up and repent and keep the commandments, sis. Yeah. This is what the Bible is all about, putting the family back together again, sis. Actually doing what the Bible says to do, because they teach our people to go to church on what day? But the Bible said what day? It says Saturday, sis. Let's read that for the sister. Give me call, Exodus. But I'm I want you to listen on the way. I, call, sis. Tell me where I'm I, walking. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Read it up. Remember that seventh day to keep it holy. Read it up. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. Read on. But the seventh day is the seventh of the Lord thy God. So it says six days right. shall we work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. What's the seventh day of the week, sis? Yes. So let's let you know that Saturday is God's high holy day, sis. That's the day that we should be congregating on. We got a school in Pleasant Grove, sis. You more than welcome to call brothers and come over to the school. You'll see the sisters. Beautiful. And in order, sis. Read the right, right, right. Come. It's a book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 4. Bring it out. Let all things be done decently and in order. So guess what? We have an order according to the Bible, sis. Guess what? We have spiritual warfare. So guess what? This is not the time to be playing games and to show that part of our heritage. But guess what? We do have time when we do bring the sisters out, bring whole families out, sis. When we having a feast day, when we're not going to be at camp for long to show and give a good example of how the family should be according to the Bible, sis. That's what we are here to build up, our nation. Give me uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Bring it up. So long, sis. You have a good day, too. Call that number, sis. Read this, right? It's a book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Bring it up. And it reads. Verse 10, and it reads, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So we got to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Read on, huh? Verse 11, put on the whole armor of Yahweh. That's what we got to have out here, man. This is a spiritual war out here, man. So in arm, it compares this to you being protected with an arm. You got a head to protect your head from danger, from arrows, from a That's knife. Right. You got a, a plate, a breastplate on to protect you from getting stabbed in the chest. That's right. You got your oil bands on and your shin guards on, man, That's to protect right. your legs and your hands. Read on out. Come The whole armor of your own. Brother, we remember you from months ago, brother. On the video, man. Come take heed to this word, man. Brother got them earphones in. Read on. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So guess what? The Most High God telling us to put on spiritual armor to restrain the wiles of the devil. That's right. He coming with all type of trickery, man. That's right. He coming with lust that you got to have your mind in order right. That's he coming right. with sexual desire that you got to have your body and yeah, your right. loins girded up, man. That's right. This is the understanding that God has given us. Read on up. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So this is not a physical fight out here, man. That's We're not right. out here to fight our brothers, but by damn it, we gonna protect ourselves out here. Right. Right. I don't know what they think this is. This ain't teeny snakes up here, man. That's right. right. We the prophets of the most high God, That's man. Right. That's right. right. Even Nehemiah right. say he will lay hands on people, man. That's right. right. That's right. right. need to wake the hell up. We don't know. But against principalities. But against principalities. 
Because brother got a, 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 a wicked principality That's in his right. mind. That's right. Esau has taught him to hate his brother. Right. To get all in his feelings and guess what? Forget about the commandments. Act on emotions. That's right. Give me that in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 17. Read on up. Against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of the darkness of this world uh -huh. against spiritual wickedness against who? against spiritual wickedness see we battling against spiritual wickedness that our people cannot see because our people are spiritually blind out here man but we're trying to wake our people to hell up man That's right. we're trying to give them guess what vision so they can see ears that they can hear we don't know come against spiritual wickedness in high place in what? in high place we don't know verse 13 wherefore take unto you the whole armor of your house. Bring it out, huh? Right. That ye may be able to withstand the evil day. The what? The evil day. So guess what, man? We're putting on a whole arm so we can make it to the king. Right. Our people don't have no thought about the king. They thinking they just gonna live as niggas and die as niggas, man. That's right. But the most high God is showing us that we more than just niggas, brothers and sisters. That's right. We the well, Israelites, man. We God's chosen people. That's Read right. this, huh? The book of Second Peter. Chapter 2, verse 17. Bring it out. Bring it out. These are wells without water. Clouds that are carried with a tempest. Uh-huh. To whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. For what? Forever. So guess what, man? These are clouds without water. Brother don't have no understanding of what he doing. Brother got hatred in his heart. Come on, man. You being a murderer out here. Give me 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17. Bring it out. Being a murderer out here. Brother don't understand what he doing. That's what the so-called white man wanted to do. That's right. Come and get your own damn people. See us as the threat when we out here trying to help you. Give me Isaiah 5 and 20. Read this out. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 17. Bring it out. Honor all men. Do what? Honor all men. Read out. Love the brotherhood. Do what? Love the brotherhood. Yeah, we love our brotherhood, but we ain't out here to play no games. Brother, what you doing, man? Brother, what you doing, brother? I'm trying to make a hundred, baby. Brother, our people is bugged the hell out, man. Brother barely can breathe, <laughs> but he want to sing, man. Right. On the bottom of society, but our people want to laugh like it ain't no care in the world, man. Right. Our people steady get shot down in the streets, but our people think everything is all good, man. Our people need to wake the hell up. Hold what you got. I'll read this, huh? It's a book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Bring it up. Well, unto them. Yeah. That call evil good. Read that again, huh? Woe unto them that call evil good. good. The Bible says, woe, meaning destruction unto them that call evil good. The brother thought he was doing good, talking about he want to protect his hood. Nigga, you don't own a damn block That's after, right. man. That's right. All this is belong to Esau, the so-called yeah. white man. That's right. We don't even own the hoods in our own neighborhoods, man. Bring it out, huh? Oh. Brother got to be out of his damn mind. Read on, huh? And good evil. And good evil, man. He called what we doing evil. We trying to beat the brother back to the marriage. To show him that he a king according to the Bible. Give me Jude chapter 1 verse 17. Read on up. And put darkness for light. And the brother's putting darkness for light, man. He want to go with the status quo, with the stigma, man. Kill a nigga in the street, man. I got another bag under my belt, man. Right. Yeah, this, that. Brother, don't mean a damn thing when you got to stand before the judge of the most high God. That's man. right. Ain't going to mean a damn thing. That's what you going to get with that war. War. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We don't battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war.